Good Saturday morning, Leviticus 25. The land shall not be sold in perpetuity, for the land is mine. For you are strangers and sojourners with me. And in all the country you possess, you shall allow a redemption of the land. If your brother becomes poor and sells part of his property, then his nearest redeemer shall come and redeem what his brother has sold. Poverty, a constant, ever-present reality. Leviticus 25 is God's instruction on how to deal with it. What is the cause of the inequity among people all over the world? Many would say that they live in a system that doesn't permit them to leave poverty. They believe they have no way of breaking the stranglehold poverty has upon them or of improving their economic lot in life. God says, you and I are their way out. We must do something about their struggle. We must help our brothers and sisters. Verse 23 reminds us that nothing we own is really ours. It belongs to the Lord, and we are simply his caretakers. The material possessions that we have as followers of Jesus Christ belong to him. God has simply entrusted us to take care of his wealth. We are to manage what we have been given in a way that honors him and helps others. The passage goes on to outline specific circumstances. In verses 25 through 34, God says you must give a person the right to redeem his own land. In verses 39 through 46, he takes up the case of slavery. No Israelite was to be a slave. And finally, in verses 47 through 55, there must be the right to redeem slaves, to buy a person back and restore him to his dignity as a human being. What a commentary this is and what a correction of the way we usually operate. God strikes at the root of the problem of poverty. He says, we must simply take care of those in need around us. It's impossible to ignore the heartbreaking issues of poverty, injustice, and inequity across the globe. And while you and I can't take care of the whole world, we must always and forever love our neighbors as ourselves. Father, while eschatologically we know that in the last days the world gets worse, not better, we cry out to you that you would heal our land. Provide opportunities for us to love our neighbors in practical and tangible ways, we pray. In the holy name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.